welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe because a lot of my viewers don't subscribe. <laughs> and I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why. But I really hope you guys subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. And for my viewers who are already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting my channel. And I cannot wait to show you more of my content that's coming out. So this video, we're going to dabble back into Mickey Songs Cosmetics. She is an amazing human being and she actually sent me over a few products and I purchased a few products as well for this video. Um, I'm doing a part two to the swatch video. I will be linking above and as well I will be linking it down below in the description bar so you guys can tune into that video and see the first swatches I did so that you guys are up to date on the swatches. So she, she is so lovely and sent me a few pieces of her new launch and I'm so honored to show you guys. Um, I have right now nothing on my lips. I just have my face done without lip products. The only thing I do not own a still. I still don't own because I said it in my last video as well. I do not own any of her lip liners. So probably should try to get some of those. But right now I have six lipsticks to show you guys and one of her set and lip creams. I'm just looking down because I have like a little notepad down here of all the information I want to tell you guys so I don't forget any. I have her her products back here. This is the packaging. It's still the same packaging, I believe, just like the last one. Um, and her, her lipsticks come in a nice Tiffany blue mint color, kind of. And I really, really love this. This stands out in my collection. I can literally go to them and know that I'm digging into the Mickey Song lipstick. I also got a satin lip cream, which is a new formula she has. And it looks like this. So, I will be starting out with the lip cream because it's a new formula and it's just, I feel like it'll be easier to start off with this. This is the Set and Lip Cream. It costs $20. It has 4.82 grams. And this is an iconic nude light beige pink nude. So, that's the undertones that this is claiming to be. For the sake of this video, since I don't own any of her lip liners, I'm going to be using my own lip liner. It's from MAC. You can use any one of your favorite lip liners. This is my favorite lip liner. It's MAC Cork, a very standard classic lip liner. A lot of people have it in their collection. So I'm going to get started, and I'm going to go in, do my lip liner, and show you guys how these swatch. Okay, so I moved in a little more. My forehead is chopped. I'm sorry about that, but you can see my lip, and that's all that matters. So I'm going to go in with the Satin Lip Cream. Um, this is in the shade Iconic Nude. I've never tried these yet, so I don't know. I'm just pumping it because I want to. It has a, like a nice light pink color. Super pigmented, as you can see. Very pigmented, gives me like Nicki Minaj vibes on my skin tone to be honest so I just applied on my bottom lip because I already felt that this was gonna be a very creamy product very pigmented so I'm just blending that in with my top and bottom lip and I'm taking my finger and this is what it looks like remember this is a fast swatch so while I do my makeup and get ready, the lipstick, I will have perfected it better than as I apply it right now. But I really do like this color. I personally would probably dab a little maybe less and just blend it in my lips and make sure I apply my lip liner again. And they'll be like a nice nude, super nude, perfect for a date night out lip. I'm pretty sure this is not going to be one of those lip products that are are going to set down it's not a liquid lip it definitely is going to stay creamy on the lips so for women who do not like matte lips this is going to be perfection this is iconic nude and it retails for $20 okay so now moving on to her lipstick formula she has two finishes so she has the satin she has a satin cream finish which these are a little bit more creamy, satin-ness, you know what I mean. It's not going to be super matte and you're going to be able to literally wear this comfortably. It's not going to be a drying formula. So this is why satins are very appealing for a lot of people because a lot of people do not like dry lips. 
Okay, so this is the satin cream formula. It retails for $18 or her lipsticks retail for $18. The bullet formula. This is in the shade Bridal Pink. Um, it's a, She calls it a nudie pink on her website. And I'm just going to apply that. This is like a true pink. So this will definitely have that pink, like light blue kind of undertone to it. But I feel like this is wearable for many complexions if you don't over apply it. This kind of pink is kind of like the, like the actual hue of my bottom lip. So this is the shade Bridal Pink. This is actually super, super beautiful. I actually really, really enjoy wearing this kind of pink and pairing it on top with a gloss. So I literally can't wait to wear this with a gloss on top, like a clear gloss, not to change the color, just to keep the richness of the pink. But this looks absolutely beautiful, especially paired with that matte cork liner for tan or deeper skin tones, even chestnut you can wear because of the fact that the brown is gonna pop the pink. And you don't even need so much of the pink, but the pink is just a beautiful color on tan and deeper skin tones. It's just we're so not used to wearing pinks because we're so scared of this clashing with our orange and yellow undertones. But I'm telling you, when I wear a pink lipstick, like bridal pink, I'm telling you. Everyone's like, oh, your lipstick is so beautiful. What is it? And this is that kind of feeling that this lipstick is giving me. So once again, I have my lipstick on, and this is again another one of the satin cream formulas. This one is called Bridal Peach, and this one is more of a peachy tone. She calls it a soft nude peach on her website, um, and that's honestly what I see in the bullet. So very, very good descriptions. Super, super creamy. I honestly love her formulation. I know like because of the pandemic you don't want to be wearing like creamy lipsticks but at the end of the day do you really want to be dry all the time like like you can put your lipstick on wherever you go so this is bridal peach and this is just a lighter softer peachy pink in my skin tone I really really enjoy this color I think it will look perfect for spring and summertime something light weight it's just beautiful like honestly these colors are literally i understand why they have like the the word bridal in front of them because these are like bridal colors so the next color we have here is called amothy coast and amothy coast is described as a pearlized coral so i'm expecting this one to have a little bit of sheen and shimmer sparkles to it nothing like you know just a pearliness to it definitely has a pearly like pink undertone so this is all mothy coast this is this perfect like going out like i don't want to wear a red i don't want to wear a orange i want to wear like a nice corally color in between and with a little bit of a pop to go out because Sometimes you just want to be nude, but with a little bit of color. So this is what this is giving me, this vibe. It does have that pearlized look. She's onto something. This makes your lips super, super huge. And it just blends in so well with your skin tone. Like, that's what I really love about the colors that she has formulated for her brand. They have so much, like alternative to it like someone with light skin can wear this someone with dark skin deep skin um someone with medium medium tan we can all try on these lipsticks and wear them this one is called english toffee and it's described as a warm mid-tone nude and i am in love before i even put it on i was in love look look at this look at this so just look you see this is like my lips, but better color. Come on. This is hands down my, I already know. Literally going to put this in my bag because this is hands down a literally me color. I can wear this every single day and not get tired of it. Because it's my lip, but better. 
I'm just so excited about this one. English Toffee is giving people a run for their money because she is beautiful. You guys, if there's one I'm swatching, I'm just letting you guys know in between this video, this one's the one you have to get. Okay, now moving on to her semi-matte formula. They still retail for $18 because it's still her regular lipstick line. Um, I'm going to swatch two of them. I have 90210 here. She's described as a hot pink. So I love hot pinks on tan skin, honey. Oh, did you see that? When I applied that, did you not see me just like... Wee! I would usually apply this not with a brown lip liner. I would probably go for something like, um, you know, fuchsia color lip liner. This is super creamy. And I'm sorry for the horrible application. I didn't do my best applying this one, but it is literally super duper creamy, hot, hot pink. I think this would actually look really, really good on fair skin tones because I love a light, light complexion with a hot, hot pink lip. This would look so good on you. And even on a very deep, deep skin tone, this would look so good. It would just pop, okay? Like, popping, okay? This gives me Spanish mommy vibes, like on vacation, you know, with the big sunglasses. You know what I mean? Like, this color, 90210. The final lipstick is called Sexy Red, and this is described as a universal true red. And I got the wrong lipstick in my hand. So this is described as a universal true red. And I have worn this. I actually did a little um, get ready with me on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, always check it out because I always post things on my Instagram that you don't see on a daily activity on my YouTube channel because I don't post consistently on my, well, not consistently. I don't post every day like I would on my Instagram. So this is a beautiful, beautiful red. And I definitely feel like this red is a little bit more matte than the pink, the 90210. It has a stiffer formula, but it has the same like semi-matte formula where it's not gonna dry out your lips. And this is sexy red and this is a true sexy red it kind of gives me like Marilyn Monroe vibe this is a flattering red for so many different skin tones and undertones like makes you feel like a million bucks so you gotta get this okay like you don't have to but like I really would recommend you to get this red it's really beautiful and this is sexy red so I put back on English Toffee just to finish my outro for this video. I really hope you guys enjoy Mickey Song Cosmetics. Remember, it's woman owned, it's a small business, and you guys should really support smaller like brands because at the end of the day, we're in a crisis right now where people are going out of business and we don't want other people to fall from all the accomplishments they already done. So please go ahead and check out her website. I will link her new Instagram because her previous Instagram got hacked and she has a new instagram so just go follow her go check out her um stuff and go really support um check out her website um she is amazing and she is super super giving you know so i really appreciate her she did send me out three uh, she sent me out four products and i picked up three more so don't think because she sent me products that this video is rigged because at the end of the day i purchased my first sets of mickey song lipsticks by myself and because my subscribers wanted to see more swatches I reached out to her and she is awesome and she literally helped go show your support um thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed this talk through swatch video and I can't wait to see you guys again for further videos bye guys